Hey guys, so I'm doing a review on this book, and it's actually a manga, but it's a good one. Um, this is the Gossip Girl manga. It's called Gossip Girl for Your Eyes. It's volume one. So I think there's only three volumes, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, let's discuss this. Okay, so basically, it's a little bit different. It's pretty diff- it's really different from the Gossip Girl book, like the first book in the series, because I also read that this month. So, yeah, it's different, and it's in- it's also not linear, which means it doesn't go in order. It kind of goes wherever it wants to go. It's like, it'll flash back, or it'll go forward, or it'll do whatever it wants, and so, yeah. But it is on manga paper, like actual manga paper. It's just like this. And it's not like an American graphic novel, which will be more like this. It's like a smoother page. It is for like the first few pages. But. Oh my god. I just, I, cause it's a manga. We're gonna talk about the art of it. Oh my god. Like the art's so pretty. Like, okay. So. Like, look at this. And like, it's, some of it's like really serious, like pretty art. And then they have like really cute art too. Like, this is like a serious one. But ones that I like are like these little cute ones. But, yeah, it's really cute, and I really like it, and I'm gonna get the second volume and see how to- Because it's different from, one, the book, and two, the TV show, so it kind of has its own entity, and it's really cool, but, um, I like it. I am gonna pick up volume two, and probably volume three after I pick up volume two. I have a hold on it at the library. By the way, this is a library book. Yeah. So, yeah, I really did like it, and, uh, you guys should check it out. If you want something that's just simple and easy and yeah, I think this would be a great spring break or summer book. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.